Welcome to our tutorial about the Surface Fillet command. Let's start by creating two surfaces to which we'll apply the fillet. Now let's extrude our lines. Select the lines and right click and enter to finish the selection, and left click to specify the extrusion height. All right, let's go to the Surface tab. Here's the Surface Fillet command, prompted for the first surface to fill it, but let's right click and specify the radius. Two units, press enter to accept. Now we select our surfaces. Press Enter to accept the fillet or select the Trim Surfaces option. Let's not automatically trim the surfaces to the fillet edge. Press Enter to accept the fillet. And here is our fillet. Let's use the Offset command now. Select the surfaces to offset. Right click to finish the selection. Now let's right click and select Flip Direction. Distance 1 unit. Enter. Now we've got a gap between the surfaces. Let's activate the fillet command again. Right click, radius. I'll input a radius that's too small for this gap, let's say 0.25 units. Press enter to accept. Now I select the surfaces to which I want to apply the fillet. And as you see, there's no preview. AutoCAD's not able to calculate the fillet. Let's activate the command again. Right click, radius. Make it three units this time. Press Enter. And we'll select the first and second surfaces. Let's go to the Trim Surfaces options. This time we'll choose Yes. And press Enter to accept. Let me orbit my model a little bit just so I can better see what's going on. As a result, I've got three different surfaces. As you can see here, the principles behind the Surface Fillet command are pretty much similar to the other fillet tools in AutoCAD. This concludes our tutorial about the Surface Fillet.